Now we will discuss about the submandibular region part 3. In this part we will discuss about the submandibular salivary gland. Here is deep part of the submandibular salivary gland and if you cut a section, horizontal section at this level, you will find here is This is mylohyoid muscle of one side. This is mylohyoid muscle. This is mylohyoid muscle of the other side. This is median rifle. So this is mylohyoid muscle. And here is position of gland. This is J shaped gland and this gland is indented by posterior margin of this myelohyoid muscle and it divides into superficial and deep part. This deep part you have seen here and from deep part duct arises. This, this is duct is known as Wharton's duct and length of this duct this is known as Wharton's duct. Length of this duct is 5 cm. This length of this duct is 5 cm. Course is initially upward, then forward, and it opens into floor of the mouth and the summit of sublingual papilla. Nature of this gland is the mix, it has mucus and serous type. It's in it. If you See this section here is this gland, and position of this gland is here. This is superficial part, and this is deep part of this gland. This is superficial, and this is deep. In between these two parts, there is a muscle. This is this muscle is this. This is myelohyoid muscle. This is myelohyoid muscle. So this is myelohyoid muscle. This is myelohyoid muscle. This is superficial part. If you see superficial part, it has three surface and three borders. This surface is lateral surface. This is inferior surface. This is medial surface. If you see the relation of this surface, here is position of the skin. Here is position of the skin. Then there is superficial fascia which contains muscle here is in this region there is platysma muscle this is platysma and one nerve here here marginal mandibular this is this nerve is marginal mandibular nerve which is branch of the facial nerve and another thing here is a vein is present this is facial vein this is facial vein common facial vein here It continue face. This is facial vein. As you know, this facial vein joins with anterior division of retromandibular vein and form the common facial vein. So here is facial vein or common facial vein. This is common facial vein. And under structure, here is lymph node. This is deep fascia. This is interesting layer of the deep fascia. Here it is split and enclosed the gland. And here lymph node is present. This is lymph node. So this is relation of the inferior surface of the gland, superficial part. And lateral surface, this is lateral surface. Here is a fossa is present. This fossa is known as submandibular fossa. And here one another structure present that is, this is facial artery. Facial artery turns like this on lateral side and it comes on the face. So this is facial art, this course is just shaped like this. This is facial artery. So lateral surface related to the facial artery, this fossa, and here muscle is present. One muscle, this is known as 
medial pterygoid muscle. So this is the medial pterygoid muscle. It is also related to lateral side. And on medial side, this is medial side. It is related to the investing layer. And on some part, here is facial artery, investing layer. This is this is muscle. This is myelohyoid muscle. Then these structures. This is hypoglossal nerve. Here is hyoglossus muscle. This is deep part. So these structures are also related with this. So these are relations of the superficial part, and this is deep part. And from the deep part, this ducts right length of duct is five centimeter, and it opens on the summit of some lingual papilla. If you see the tongue. This is frenulum of the tongue. On inner side, on the lower side, this is frenulum of the tongue. And here is papilla. This is some lingual papilla. Here is this is some lingual papilla here. So the duct opens here, and the summit of some lingual papilla. This is known as water ducts. And anther gland. Anther gland, which lies here. This is sublingual gland. Weight of sublingual gland is about three to four grams, and there are fifteen about fifteen ducts through which opens into the floor of the mouth, and these ducts open here, and the sublingual fold. This is sublingual fold here. Ducts open. Seven eight ducts open here. And the this sublingual fold, this is sublingual fold, this is sublingual papilla, this is papilla, this is fold. So, on the summit of the sublingual papilla, submandibular duct open or water duct open, and here. About seven eight ducts of the sublingual salivary gland open. The sublingual salivary gland is nature wise, it is mucus secreting gland. And these ducts open here, and these ducts are known as duct of ribiness. Duct of, duct of ribiness. And some ducts of this open through this. Initially opens into the this duct, submandibular duct, and through this duct, it opens into submandibular, uh, sorry, uh, into uh, this sublingual papilla here. So these ducts are known as Bartholin ducts, duct of Bartholin. Here is duct of Bartholin. So those ducts. Which directly open up here. These are duct of ribiness, and those duct which open initially into the submandibular duct, and through submandibular duct it opens into the sublingual papilla. These are duct of the bath. So this is all about the part three.